Welcome back guys. Today's video comes from Glencoe. The world famous Glencoe, dare I say. Well, I say Glencoe. Glencoe is just over that hill. We are right at the top of it. We are going to be doing a trail or a pass called the Lerig Eild. Uh, I haven't checked this, but I'm pretty sure Lerig uh, is Gaelic for pass, like a mountain pass. So it's the path of least resistance. So this is the Lerig Eild. Straight off the roadside, as you can see, parked fan there. Straight off the road and straight up this Lerig, which will take us over to Glen Etif. I'm going to get to the top. Uh, before we descend down into Glen Etiff, I'm just going to turn around and come back down this path. I was actually here last week. I'd done a Patreon video for that. It was a recce run without the bike because last time I went out and just done a, a test and took my bike. That was the Staub Ban Ride, which was the last video, and I got myself in a lot of trouble. So I have been up this one. I've had a look, and it is very, very good. It's very much rideable. And I was here last Sunday, this car park was full, the lay-by up there was full, and I had to park a little bit beyond there. And now, as you can see, it's myself and one other vehicle, so it should be nice and quiet, nice and open, I shouldn't get in anyone's way, and the trail definitely looks really, really good, as you guys will see on the way up. Expect another future video to go up this left path and up the Bukalet of Big and to do those uh, two peaks you see up in the horizon just uh, that is 100% on as you can see the weather's not ideal today so I'm staying low down uh, and do this nice bit of single track but as soon as the weather's good enough I'll be right up there Yep, won't be riding this bit on the way down. So as you can see, the gradient isn't all that steep. In fact, it's the opposite at the moment, but overall the trail's pretty damn gradual, which uh, I'm happy with. It's very, very rare you get anything in the mountains that's, uh, well, Scottish mountains anyway, that's anything other than extremely steep. So to have a, a slightly more alpine trail is quite a relief. Well, <laughs> this is a bit different to last time. So what you should be able to see down there is Glen Etiff running down that way. Big mountain in the background, don't know the name of it. Um, yeah, and this is the, the highest point, this is the Bialik. This is where the Bukalet of Big, um, although I'm not sure what that actual peak is called meets the head of the valley. We've got that one there, that one there. I don't know the names, but it's like Glen there, Glen there, Glen here, Glen down there. And uh, yeah, you've got plenty of options. So because the van is back that way, I'm not gonna go down that way. But me and my mate James might come back over, do a, a shuttle between cars and try this way as well. That's it for just now. I'm going to go back. Well, I got to admit, I am having some problems with this Hero Max. It is. It's not frozen on me. It's not been unreliable. It's just sometimes it won't bloody switch on. Um, yeah, I've not had really all the other problems that people seem to have had with other GoPros but uh, yeah I'm having a few issues with the Hero Max yeah I've just got to pull the battery on the Max and then it does work after that but shouldn't have to do it but thankfully that's all it is just now 
uh, they can fix that with a firmware update somewhere down the line. See how they perform on the way down here. These yard trail is still pretty fucking brutal. Nice. Oh, narrow. Balance is feeling good. Always hard to get going on a ooh, on a mountain trail. Yeah, this is going to be over pretty quick. 2.4 miles in about 10 minutes, I reckon. <laughs> Maybe I'm just flattering myself. Forget how good this bike is. So buttery smooth in the back end. Very impressive. Always impresses me every time I get back on it. Right, my feet are already soaked, so I'm not going to worry too much going through here. Yep. The good thing about these Shimano's as well is anyone that knows 510's you measure the drying time in months not hours they take so long to dry out but I think these things will dry out nice and quick hopefully Done the hard bit, I messed up the easy bit after. You know, the gradient's not much, but it's hard to quantify awkwardness. <laughs> or narrowness. a bit flat oh. oh this is the crux can you ride that So even the trails that look relatively straightforward on foot still aren't all that but easy when you point the wheels back down. <laughs> I would definitely have ripped a mech off if I had one. By now. <laughs> Plenty of rocks. 
that can do such a task. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, that's a boggy bit. It's annoying because you, oh, in the steep bits you need to brake you know, because obviously you'll gain too much speed. But equally, steep bits generally are rocky and the slippiest bits as well. Quite the balance. fresh Slightly rock to be off camber. Definitely not going to make it through there. Oh. Again, no mech to worry about at least. Oh, yes. Very. Very awkward. Love it. The other van has gone to the car park, so I think I was in the hill pretty much by myself. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh my, it's getting spicy. Oh no, we won't. <laughs> Turn it this way anyway. <laughs> the bike decided. Ooh. Well, I think overall that was pretty damn decent. Uh, I really needed that. Needed it so bad. I, I am just like anyone else in the Northern Hemisphere when it gets to winter time. Well, I'd say this year I've actually been pretty damn depressed. But the days like this, make me feel better. Stop ban, the last video, was meant to make me feel this way uh, and instead it just compounded all my problems. But that was enjoyable, that was really fun. It was still pretty damn awkward but I'll take it, I'll take it. And thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.